Hi everybody, my name is Jaya and this presentation is about my internship experience as a technical writer and UI content designer for NIW companies. In this presentation, I'll talk about my background, including the hiring process, some of the projects I've worked on, and a few takeaways from my experience as an intern, as well as how my coursework prepared me for this internship. A little bit about me. My background is in journalism, but I also have a lot of degrees, mostly from UNT, including a bachelor's and master's in English and creative nonfiction. This is my second master's degree that I decided to pursue after teaching technical writing for four years. The hiring process for this internship was pretty simple for me. Uh, since this was part of my requirement, I started the job search in summer of this year, and I applied to three places. The first two job postings I applied to, uh, they were on LinkedIn, but they sent me back an automated rejection email within like two days of applying to them. The third was a job ad that was sent directly to Dr. Kim by a former TechM student looking to hire an intern from the program. When Dr. Kim advertised the position on LinkedIn, I reached out to her and she directed me to the job posting and gave me more information. Uh, subsequently, I sent NIW my resume and a few examples of my UX work. Since the position was for a UX UI content designer who could also write requirements for the website. I went through two rounds of interviews, a formal one and a second informal one, which was to meet the owner and CEO of the company. I was given the job offer that same week and I joined two weeks later. So it was really, really simple. Uh, the company that I work for, work for is called the NIW Companies. It's New Investor World. It's a premium finance company known for Kaizen, a life insurance product. Uh, I work on Ilya. It's a website uh, on NIW Companies uh, main uh, page, which allows users to enroll, apply, and manage their insurance policy. Uh, Ilya is the platform for which I do a lot of the technical writing work as well as uh, do the UI uh, design and uh, content writing. My department is pretty small. I work mainly with Kyle Simmons. He's the NIW's process automation expert. He's also the former TechChem student who had reached out to Dr. Kim. Uh, Jamie Austin is our project manager and he coordinates uh, with all of us and we send all our work to him. Kyle and Jamie were the ones who interviewed me the first time. Uh, since they liked me, they asked me to come in and interview with the CEO who makes the final decision on hires and that's how I got hired. My job involves a lot of technical writing and editing and designing small UI functionalities. I also write UI requirements for the developers who work from India. Uh, some of the softwares and tools that I use uh, for my job and that I use in the company are mainly Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and uh, Microsoft Teams. I also use Adobe InDesign. Figma was a new platform I had to learn for this job to design my UI platforms. Snagit is like a snipping tool that also I had to learn on the go, but it was easy. Uh, that's taken, that's used mostly to take screenshots. And Zoom uh, for some of the meetings if uh, the person conducting the meet meeting doesn't like to do it on Teams. So those are the softwares and tools I mostly use for my job. 
some of the projects that I have been working on for the last two, two and a half months have been writing UI requirements, uh, designing wireframe UI functionalities, uh, designing payment notifications, and creating uh, quick start guides for agents. Uh, I will talk a little bit more in details about these in the next few slides. So writing UI requirements, a uh, lot of times looks like this. It's taking screenshots of the, of the UI, uh, of the wireframe or the UI that needs changing, whether it's text, whether it's adding stuff, taking out stuff, and then marking it up in Snagit. So this is where I use Snagit a lot. So uh, telling them what text to change, what text to take out, what needs to be added where, all of that stuff is done in Snagit. So I take screenshots of the of the website uh, page that needs changing or that needs editing, and then do all the work in Snagit. Uh, designing UI functionality and wireframes. So we have a we have a outside uh, UI designer who does all the big projects. I was brought in to do smaller functionalities for which we don't need to conduct a lot of scoping meetings or get uh, the UI designer involved because since he's a contractor, it costs a lot. So I was brought in to do smaller functionalities that don't need to be outsourced as much so i do i have designed so far two or three small functionalities that have been in the process of being implemented on the website and that's how they look like in figma uh the first one is how the wireframe looks like the second screenshot is about how you design the functionalities and do a prototype the other thing i do a lot is design documents a lot of uh, NIW's uh, documents are sent via email, example, payment receipts and payment notifications, but they are kind of on an antiquated uh, system. They are word files that are merged. Uh, I was asked to design some payment notifications to be sent out with Ilya once the process is automated. So these are some of the things I've designed in InDesign that uh, will be used in future uh, transactions. The other thing I've started writing in my uh, in my spare time is an agent quick start guide, which mainly involves taking a lot of screenshots, marking them up, and then writing clear instructions on what these screenshots are representing. And uh, eventually, this is going to be a much larger guide, but I have just started doing this, so we will see where it takes us. And that's a little bit about all the projects I've done so far. What I have learned in my internship. Real life applications are different than coursework assignments. What that means is sometimes things don't go as planned. Deadlines change, the scope change uh, changes. Uh, sometimes you have to do something in two days. Sometimes you could work on something for two weeks and can get scraped for a new project. So a lot of those things change all the time. You have to go with the flow and roll with the flow. Uh, it takes time to know the company. Be patient, ask questions make friends, sit with other people during lunch hours to kind of get to know what they do, what their jobs are. Uh, creating a rapport with people helps you to navigate the office, to help, helps you to feel like you belong, even if you are a intern and you may not be here longer, but making those connections help you in the long run to find a job or find leads. How UNT courses prepared me for this job? I would say a lot. So style and technical writing, editing technical documents, principles of technical communications, all those I use in writing my UI content in editing and 
writing uh, documentations, uh, processes, and agent guides. Designing technical documents um, was an incredibly uh, helpful class in designing notifications and other design documents. Usability and user experience, I'm using all the principles I learned in that class to help me in designing my UI slides that I de uh, design in Figma. So UND courses prepared me a lot for those things. Some of the challenges in an internship, one of the biggest challenge and adjustment for me was in-person work week, uh, going to work from eight to five or nine to five, five days a week was a little bit much. As an intern, you don't always have work, so but you still have to stay there to, for the whole time. And that was a little bit hard for me to adjust to. Online meetings sometimes can drag on and on and on. When you are an intern, you're not expected to contribute a lot, but you still have to attend them and they can be a drag. And uh, I think the biggest challenge was the nonlinear deadlines, where sometimes you will have a deadline and you have to finish the work in two days. And sometimes you can work on it for two weeks and then nobody worries about it. And the project is done, but there is no immediate need for it. So you have to set it aside to do something else. What I would do differently in this job, I would start my job search a little bit early, but I wanted to enjoy the summer. Uh, however, uh, what that did was when the third job came along and I was offered a job, I took it because I felt like I was, I had wasted enough time already. But my job came with an hourly pay and I wish I had, negotiated it for a starting salary or an equivalent salary of the hourly pay because I was tied to the hours to work in that job. So even if I didn't have work, I had to stay back and kind of pass away the eight hours every day that I was expected to be there. Uh, but other than that, everything Work, works out good. Uh, I have been offered a job uh, with the company, uh, so I will be joining them once my internship is over. Uh, my portfolio is on linkedin.com jayawagle. That's my LinkedIn uh, contact. My portfolio is at jayawagle.com. If you would like to get in touch with me, please do so either through my portfolio or on LinkedIn. I would love to chat with you more about my internship experience. Thank you.